DaVinci Resolve 20 makes adding a voiceover where you can just talk over the top of your video so much easier. You can even enable a teleprompter feature, which we'll get to in a minute. So here we've got this edit with some music and sound effects. And we want to go and add a voiceover on top of this. So what we could do is we could go and record that voiceover separately in a voice recorder or maybe on our camera and then import that video or that audio file into Resolve and then hopefully it will line up with the actual visuals on the screen. By using the voiceover tool built into DaVinci Resolve it makes it so much easier to make sure that what you're talking the voiceover is actually matching up to the picture on screen. Even if like me you tend to use the edit page to edit your videos to access access this voiceover feature you need to come down here and switch to the cut page but don't worry you can just go and record your voiceover and when it's done switch back to the edit page and continue editing here. So we'll switch to the cut page and to enable this voiceover feature click this microphone icon. This brings up this row of settings. First thing you're going to want to do is click this drop down arrow and you're going to want to change these settings. Come up here and choose which audio input or which microphone you're going to record your voiceover from. I've got a Focusrite USB audio interface on this computer so that's where the microphone is attached to. Next you can choose where the audio that you speak into the microphone will be recorded. By default it's this voiceover track so when we hit record in a minute we're going to get a new audio track and the voiceover will be added to it. If you want to add it to an existing track you can choose the track from this list. Next up we've got this monitoring section. While you're recording your voiceover you can listen to both the timeline and the microphone input that you're recording. You can just listen to the timeline that's playing the music and sound effects that's already on the timeline or if you just want to hear what you're saying in the microphone you can use this option and if you don't want to hear anything you can choose mute monitoring when recording. Next up you get to choose whether you want a countdown so you can specify no countdown when you hit record or if you want a little bit of time just to get in the mood you can select a countdown. Let's choose five seconds and finally you want to choose a voiceover recording file location. Click this and then navigate to where you want the physical audio files to be stored on your computer. So we'll just select that folder. If you want your voiceover to start from a certain part of your timeline you can just move the playhead to that part and hit I on the keyboard to set an endpoint. Now you can hit record and start your voiceover. You can see we've got our five second countdown. Let's get in the mood. And now we can record this voiceover straight into the timeline. And hopefully it is going to line up everywhere we want. You can wait until it finishes the end of the timeline or you can click stop to end it. Notice down here we've got this new voiceover track and we've got this audio file added to the media pool. If we double click on this, here's the audio we just recorded. And now we can record this voiceover and we can play this back in the timeline. And now we can record this voiceover straight into the timeline. There's three options that you can enable here to improve the sound quality if you're recording in a noisy environment or if the microphone's not great. You can turn on voice isolation and this is going to try and reduce background noises that aren't talking. You can use the dialogue leveler. This is going to try and level out the louder and quieter parts when you're talking and you have the stereo fixer which is going to try and sort out any problems with stereo or mono signals. Once you've recorded your first take, if you press the Q button, it's going to move the playhead back to the start of that endpoint that you set and now you can hit record again and now this is the second voiceover take that we're trying to record for this timeline click stop and now we've got take one and take two as separate audio files and we can use the best sounding one that we choose. But that's not all. What you want to be able to do is when you're creating a voiceover, you want to make sure that it actually matches up with the picture. And that's where this next feature is really cool. And it's the teleprompter feature. To access the teleprompter controls, click this drop down button here. And the first thing you need to do is load in the script file. And this is a text file. So I'm going to click this. I'm going to choose this script file. If I open this up, it's just a simple text file. And we'll click open to open that. And you can see now we've got this teleprompter overlay. You can customize this. You can change the font size. And you can see as we scroll through the video, we get the words appear on screen on this overlay. So maybe we don't want quite a bigger font. 
We can change the line spacing. So this is the space between each sentence. We can change the side margin if we want it to come straight up the side. And we can choose the background opacity so the visuals don't distract us too much. Let's set that back to 50%. And if I just play this back without recording. And now this is the second voiceover tape that we're trying to record for this time you can see that this is scrolling. And you can scroll through this and you can see how the text is going to fit into your video. The end of the sequence is about here, but we've only just got to this last line of text. So what we can do to make this a bit faster, we could go and reduce the line spacing, let's say to 100% and tweak things to make them look as we want. Okay, let's go and record this voiceover. Click Q to go to the endpoint and then hit record. And here we go. The ocean, a vast unknown the giver of life, the source and return, the shallows and the deeps, the moon pooled rise, the endless flow until the end of time. Notice that when we click stop, the playhead automatically goes back to the start of the endpoint. Let's watch this back. First, we'll come up to the script menu and we'll disable the prompt overlay so we can actually see the beautiful creation that we've made. And let's take a listen. The ocean. A vast unknown, the giver of life, the source and return, the shallows and the deeps, the moon pooled rise, the endless flow until the end of time. And of course we could come back to the edit page and we could tweak the timing of this voiceover track by cutting it up and just getting it exactly how we want. And if we wanted to make sure that voiceover is the correct volume and it mixes nicely with all of the music and sound effects, we could come to AI tools and choose audio assistant. And that's exactly what you'll learn how to do. If you watch this video next, please subscribe. I'm Jason Roberts. This is DaVinci Dojo and I'll see you in the next one.